not starting the vlog off at the gym today. We are starting off in the car, obviously. Because we had to move the gym time back because he had to be at his other job earlier, I believe. So we're gonna work out this evening. I think I think it's at like 4.30. So it's roughly almost 10 o'clock, four minutes to 10. I don't have any like content to like film film today. I mean, I do, but it's not due like right now, right now. So I'm choosing today to get out of the house, which is crazy because it is raining like crazy. I mean, it's not too bad, but I mean, it's, it's coming down. Um, but I decided to get out of the house and just have like a little work day and pull up at like a coffee shop or something like that and do some work. I keep getting these messages that I, I seem happy and I'm glowing and things like that. And like, y'all don't understand. Like if y'all see that, that means the absolute world to me because that's honestly all I wanted. That's honestly all I wanted. I remember I used to walk around and I had this dark shell on me, this, this just dark, dark shell. And God told me that this year was gonna be different. It was gonna be so different. And when I was crying during, um, you know, when I was worshiping a little bit earlier, I kept hearing, your tears are different, your tears are different, your tears are different. You know how, like when you think about something you used to cry about, or maybe you still cry about that, you know, are tears of like pain, tears of sorrow, tears of grief, tears of something that just completely broke your heart and your spirit. Um, but then think about crying about something that just completely just fills you with joy, that just overjoys you and that just makes you feel so amazing and just so free and so liberated and just all of those things like your tears are different and God really is doing that you know and I and I want to pass the encouragement that God will do that it has not been an easy process it has actually taken quite some time for it to get to where it's at right now but I'm grateful because I mean it's it's here now you know like when it gets here it's like the time that you wait, it doesn't even matter, you know? So in the meantime, keep your hope, hang on to your faith, and stay close to God. And that's just that's just where I'm at, you know? <laughs> it's like we wait, wait, wait on God, and then it's like, in the midst of waiting, we're probably counting the days, or counting the months, or even counting the years. And it's like, when it happens, when the breakthrough happens, it's like you're not thinking about how long you waited. You're just grateful, you're just happy. I never want to seem like I just got it all together, because I don't. I feel like I'm very open and very vocal about me not having it all together and how I struggle with things and how I, you know, need help through things and how I desperately need God a lot of the times uh, to help me through things. So um, I definitely want to encourage you guys to just hang on tight to God and his promises because he's, like the Bible says, he says he'll never leave you nor forsake you. And that means he's not going to leave you. And that means he hasn't forgotten about you. Um, that means he's still constantly thinking about you. He's still keeping your desires in consideration. He's still considering your prayers. He's still listening. Yeah, I'm very grateful on today. Like God is, is just top notch, man. Literally spent, what time did I get here? I think I got here at like, 10 30 y'all it is 2 35 i'm just leaving starbucks i am tired i am today is just a heavy workload day like not necessarily for filming content but just for um just doing like background work like computer work you know what i'm saying going over contracts going over content i mean content uh content revisions stuff like that fun stuff right <laughs> Creating the content is the fun part. The whole revisions and talking and, I mean, not talking, but like just kind of going back and forth about like what's approved, what's possibly not approved. I mean, that whole shebang, but I feel good. I'ma catch y'all at the gym when I finish doing what I gotta do. We got abs today, y'all. Look, I was like, I need to bring, start bringing my ring lights and stuff up in here because the lighting is terrible. <laughs> Oh, hold on, this is an actual workout? Yeah. Legit. And... <laughs> oh my God. I'm trying to kill me. Out, in. What you gotta do with the weights? I don't have to? 
Give me a challenge, Dad. You trying to go? This, I'm just, I can to really do. I mean, oh, oh, oh! Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, I'll try it. You're gonna be right here. Out. Oh, I hate them. Little kicks. Okay. Okay. Then you're gonna be on the ground. Okay. Out. In. Out. In. Man, you crazy. In. I say you crazy. You lost your mind. Then you're gonna be rolling. Boom. The last one. Over here. Uh, we working today. Get out of my I'm face. With you. Get, get, out of get out of my face. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Always make sure to check the description box. Art. I literally copy and pasted your bio. I've seen that. Okay. Is that okay? I've been there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's got like your website thing on there too. Yeah. Hmm. This phone's How do y'all hold this big gargantuan phone? Don't you got a phone? Mine is small. Oh, I, got the, I got the small one. I can't do no big ball. Big, big ball. Big old phone. All right, y'all. But yeah, make sure y'all check the description box for his information. Follow him. All that jazz. Okay. What she said. What a it? <sighs> I got the sprinkle work on. I'm trying to think. I wish there was something I could like. Oh, that's my jam. That's my jam. Okay, disclaimer before this workout begins. The workout he had me doing today, I um, really exposed how weak my core is. So don't judge me, okay? Don't judge. Okay, this music is definitely not upbeat enough. Hang on. goodness everybody it is november the first <laughs> i am feeling amazing in this morning i have been just resting myself you know what i'm saying it's nothing wrong with getting a little bit of rest and you know i have on this cardigan that i'm just obsessed with but it's trying to show my goods but anyway but guys today is november the first it is the first of the month a new month and this month you guys is really exciting because wait for it wait for it, wait for it my hair anniversary this is going to be my one year mark of my hair journey 
and I'm trying to go ahead and get videos planned. So I got my little handy dandy notebook right here of everything I'm going to be filming this month. The goal is to honestly, I don't even, never mind. I'm not even going to say it because if I don't do it, then I'm going to feel like a whole entire failure out here. So yesterday was Halloween and I ended up going to a church service and it was so, 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 so good. Um, took communion and just experienced a heavy, beautiful move of God. And, you know, and I was just having a conversation. I was just so excited because I'm like, Lord, I could have been anywhere else. And, you know, not saying where everyone else is, is, is bad or whatever, but I'm just saying like, God, I just felt so good because I'm like, God, I could have been anywhere else right now, but I'm just like in your presence and I'm just, um, experiencing you and, I've just grown so much. I'm going to do a separate video on it. Like when I say I have so much content to film, I'm so excited. But when I tell you God has just been doing a number on me and it's just been such a beautiful, 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 beautiful move of God. And I'm just really excited where God is taking me. And I don't know what it's been. I, I feel like God, I don't know. I've just been like here lately watching some of my old videos because I've just been like so interested to see my growth. Like throughout the whole year, I haven't even watched any of my old videos, but it's like all of a sudden I've just started to watch them. I'm just like looking at my growth and not hair growth per se, but literally like mental growth, you know, where my, how my life ended up changing so much this year. And again, I'm going to do a whole video on like how, and we're just going to talk in detail about a lot of different things. But when I tell you, I am just so moved. I'm so grateful. I'm just so just, I'm a whole lot of things right now and I'm just really excited, but I want to just drop in and say happy November 1st. This month I am speaking it over everyone who is watching over my life, over your life, over your friend's life passing on. But this month is going to be full of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things. Not saying that there won't be challenges, but let's not focus on the challenges. Let's just focus on the move of God and what he is trying to do in our lives and um just you know i just say that let's pray for some supernatural strength to help us get through any and every situation that may come our way this year if we've made if you've made it listen listen to me right now listen to me right here if you made it this far through this year you are a true warrior okay you have been fighting the good fight you have been doing it and you have been pressing through and you have been making it you have made it this far god is not going to give up on you he has not given up on you and he never will give up on you so when i say you made it this far through the year you are doing so amazing i am so proud of you okay i am so proud of you i don't know if anyone else has ever told you that but i am so freaking proud of you you have made it through this year and the year is not even over we still have this whole month and then of course we have oh, I'm, I'm blowing up this morning and then we have all of uh december so like we still have a little ways to go but we are getting through we are pressing through and i am so proud of you for everything that you are accomplishing everything that you are doing and everything that you have pushed through god is proud of you i'm proud of you and be proud of yourself so my friend just messaged me and asked do i want to go to a workshop november 1st we're gonna have a packed full day sunday morning i'll be with you at the services sharing my story about losing my wife amanda five years ago to murder in a home invasion and i need you to hear me say before i even arrive there to be with you that I am standing here as testament to the fact that no matter what trauma or tragedy we walk through in life, we can walk through it in triumph because of Jesus. So we're gonna be focusing on that. You know when you type in something, you just type in a bunch of bull. Whole time you thinking you really type in. Hey, in the registry, did you put a certain number in the party? Like, did you include me or did you just put one? Cause I'm gonna go ahead and register. Anyway, like I always say, like do what you do what you gotta do to heal. You know what I'm saying? But do things that it's gonna actually help you heal, not uh, suppress emotions or distract you from those emotions. Like heal and use things that is gonna help you embrace the pain and um you know grow and he actually heal and get to the next uh the next phase good morning y'all i ain't give y'all no intro when i was walking because it was just cold outside it's her out there he trying to match me today we in the gym listen this is great when i think of life i guess here we she got we do got a little a little a little running there. like always like always. Put on some running music. What's running music? Type in running music. 
and alpha music. It ain't no it ain't no words. It just be beat. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm mm. Yo, I like this. Is how I know God is. Listen, God is the Lord. Like. I don't know what happened to me after we took communion, but it's like, I mean, I was hyped before communion, but I took communion and I went out. Mm. Like, I blacked out. I said, Lord, hey, woo. I don't know what was going on. I said, that's my kind of carrying on. <laughs> yes, sir. done with lessons my camera this sony i'm gonna have to get my canon fixed because my canon does not do all of this all this overheating powering off by itself my canon does not do all of that and sony i mean i don't know what that's about but i just feel like that just need to be dealt with because i think that's kind of silly I'm doing the worst job at vlogging today you guys i'm just getting back home 
I still have some stuff. I still got some work to finish up. I need to clean. My house is a wreck. Like, when I tell you my house is such a wreck. And then on top of that, y'all, like, it is getting so dark. is everyone doing I am headed to the gym headed to the gym after that I am going to go vote on voting areas or voting what do you call them voting polls they're not they're open until 7 this evening so I'm gonna make sure I go handle that before I do any work today because I don't know how long I may have to stand in line so yeah but I'm gonna meet you guys when I get at the gym let me strap not yawning with it. <laughs> Alright, so your first movement, so you got alternating dumbbell press. Okay? So you're down, up, down, up. And then after that, you got 10 reps of holding the weight like this mm -hmm. and coming down, squeeze, press it back up. You will step out. Okay? Boom. Everything tight, engaged, press the shoulders front. And after that, we're going to biceps and triceps. So the first one, you're going to hold the weight right here. Okay? And you're curling. Boom. Boom. Okay? Coming up, slow down. Okay? Up, slow down. It's going to be right here. Coming down. Back up. All right. My sister talked me into um, checking the registration thing. Come to find out, I'm actually registered back home to go vote. So I have to take me a good little hour trip to go vote. Am I mad? Yes. But does it need to get done? Yes. Voting is very important. So I'm going to go vote. Workout and everything went really well. So, um, But we did arms, obviously, and my arms freaking hurt like crazy. Let me know down below if you guys want a braces update. I know I asked you guys before, but if you guys want a braces update, I will definitely do that for you guys. Um, because I honestly believe I'm at the end of my treatment. I really, really do. Sup September, spring, summer. All right, Nene, tell everyone bye. Bye. See you later. Sorry, I forgot to vlog, y'all. We was, yeah. <laughs> Life, baby, love you all. Huh? Tell them what? Tell them you voted. See you later. We voted. Bye. Probably. <laughs> my bad, y'all. I meant to vlog with me and my sister and try me and my sister get together. But um, as you can see in the back, I had to make a little pit stop. I picked up a few things for my dad because look, y'all. I was watching um. I was watching some old videos of myself and I was like, dang, like I was really cute in like this particular wig, blah, blah, blah. 
Honey, whole time they were in the room that I had used, the last room I had used to, uh, you know, film content and stuff like that. It was in that room in a box. Ugh, my body hurts, oh God. Oh, so you don't have any clothes on. Wow, that smells nice in here. Hey, Mom. Oh, you got a warm cozy. This is that nap. Um, this is definitely that nap type of cozy home vibe. Mm -hmm. Yep. What's popping, Shirley Temple? Why don't y'all get honey buns anymore? Mm -hmm. Y'all used to be y'all used to be loaded, and now y'all don't even mm -hmm. have not one honey bun. Uh -oh. He got another shop. Stop it, no, because I'm gonna have to. to I'm gonna have box. to pay for it. No, you not. I didn't give you a honey bun. No, I don't want to cheat his business. Child, Diddy, he got the fireplace out again, girl. Really? Uh huh. He got it hooked back up. I said, okay, getting ready for the holiday. today's vlog is pretty long because I have just been like piecing a bunch of like clips together because I have not I mean I've been consistent with the vlog and I just haven't done like a full day's worth of a vlog to like finish it out and then on top of that I didn't even show y'all the final result of my closet it's not exactly what I want but it's it's just what it's gonna have to be right now because I kind of had to cram all my shoes over here because I have my dirty clothes basket in the corner. Then I moved all my jackets here so that way they're easy access because you guys know they were in the back. All I know is I cannot wait to move into the new spot because I'm gonna have so much more room. It's a whole walk-in closet, y'all. If you have not checked out the apartment tour, it will be up here. Petey and I, Petey. Let me tell y'all a funny story about me and Petey real quick. So this whole time, she, is, she has been letting me say her name wrong. Like, her nickname is Petey but I've been calling her PD. Like I've been like breaking it, making it choppy when it's not PD, it's just PD. But anyway, girl, if you are watching, um, don't do me like that, cause I wanna like, I'm like big on names because I've grown up all my life and people have always pronounced my name wrong. And even though I didn't really care, it's just like, they'll call you anything if you don't correct them. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, I just wanna make it and be like, no, my name is Jalen, it's pronounced Jalen, or you can call me Jay, you know? So I was like, no, Petey, like, tell me, like, that it's Petey. So I'm, like, trying to work myself to, like, saying Petey now instead of PD. Anyway, so that was my whole closet. I'm trying to go ahead. I'm trying to find me something to put on because I'm going to be taking some photos for her. She has, like, this, um, she's, like, sponsored by, like, this company that sends her, like, jewelry. It's really nice and actually expensive, so period. So I told her I would take some pictures of her and so she can have like some really good quality photos or um to send to the company so yes so i'm already showered and everything if you guys joined sunny and i on the live this morning the live was thick okay i've been using the word thick a lot lately but it was a f no avery but the live today was thick okay sunny and i just we just went ham with the conversation and and it was and it was on you guys like you guys helped um, you know, move the conversation to where it ended up getting to. And um, I'm, I'm definitely cool with that. Like we had a great time, but it was, it was just thick, okay? They're actually like downstairs, like bumping and carrying on with the music. And I'm just in there like. Getting ready to go to Beer 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 88. I'm over here saying Beer 38. Uh. <laughs> I was about to say, well, if you love the lamp on, you should be good. <laughs> That's gonna be good. All right, y'all. We are at this restaurant called Beer 88. She's sipping on Coke. I'm sipping on ginger ale. 
stuff. I'm look, still ain't figured out. Uh, figured out. Oh, girl, we should. Hey, girl, I can't even talk. Hang on, hang on. Mine is like I'm distracted. Okay, I know I want some French fries. Well, yes. regular cut French fries. Did you want to do wings too? You want to do? What do we have? You know how like when somebody else buying your food, you like? No, I don't care. Is that? Do we have the Jamaican ones last time? Jamaican jerk. Uh, honey bourbon barbecue. Yeah, Ooh, we definitely okay. got Jamaican jerk last time. You want to do those with me? Bacon cheese fries. I just want a regular. Um, they had different menus last time too. I think. Sweet. All right, y'all. We got Jamaican shirt. <laughs> Please keep that in there. Did you record it? <laughs> okay. Hold on. Let me do it again. Okay. I'm gonna play it off, but I couldn't even do that one. All right, y'all, we have Jamaican <laughs> jerk chicken wings. That is our appetizer today. <laughs> Somebody gonna think we drinking. No, yeah, Jamaican jerk. Girl, Jamaican jerk. Girl, 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 girl. Let me put this on a drop on. They smell really good. Okay, guys, I am, stop Avery. I am officially back home and I'm with baby girl. She is just so full of energy at the moment. Um. But I just wanted to say before I ended the vlog, stop Avery, don't mind them clothes, I gotta fold some clothes. But um, I just wanted to say before I left that we may find out tonight, as I'm speaking, we may find out tonight who um, is going to win the election. And regardless of what, let's just keep in mind that God is still in control. God still has the final say. And um, to not worry. You wanna tell them good night, Avery? Stop. Come here. Come tell them good night. Come tell them good night. Come say night night. Good morning, everyone. You guys already know where I'm headed to. Okay, A Bug, I'll be back. what is going on my hair looks a mess i'm getting ready to actually do my hair y'all will not see this until next video <laughs> but my hair looks a mess avery is just she just has a big bag of energy this morning i got my nails done yesterday i don't know if i mentioned it but i ended up getting them like this just super natural i wanted a little bit of length nothing too long and nothing too crazy i just want a little bit of something i finally found a girl that like really does them good and they're just so cute and tiny and just, like, I can still do a lot with my hands without it seeming like I can't, you know, can't do a whole lot. Um, so, yeah, so I'm getting ready. I know I look so crazy. Like, I'm telling you, my vlogs, for real, be looking like craziness. But I'm getting ready to um, finish up the last little pieces of the vlog so I can get it up. This vlog was long. I do apologize. Like, it's just long. It's just doing the most. But, I mean... Ain't nothing wrong with it, I don't think. I woke up this morning and I have an extra charge from Target. So you know how you do like, you know how you can do like your order pickup and stuff like that. So, and this morning I woke up and I had like another charge from Target. And I'm just like, so yeah, so let me, I'm trying to clear off my phone so y'all can see. So I bought some groceries yesterday. I did it online. So I did it yesterday at 1237. Got charged 8151. But then it's like at midnight, I got charged eighty fifteen. You see how it's kind of the same, but not really. You know, and I got charged twice, and I know it wasn't a glitch because I checked the the card that was used. I checked the account balance on that, and I'm literally like one hundred and sixty dollars out of money. 
which 80 of that which is is what i consented for but this other charge at midnight is something that i did not consent for so i called target and i'm like hey um, I'm not sure who or what department I need to speak to, but I'm like, I got charged like another $80 off of my account um, for like this Target order pickup. And I went back and looked to see like, did I just, did my mind just go crazy and I did buy something else? But like, no, I didn't. I did. I went to Target once yesterday and I only pulled up and I only did the drive up order thing and I only did that to pick up my groceries. After that, I left and I didn't go, I didn't leave the house after that. So I'm just like, I know I didn't do anything crazy. And I know sometimes they don't charge you until like you actually pick up your stuff. But why do I, but why do I have an extra 80 going? You know what I'm saying? I have an extra $80 going out of the account. Cause I knew how much was in that account. Um, I knew how much was in that account, you know, prior to buying groceries. So it's like, when I seen that, I was like, mm, I should have more money in this account. You know what I'm saying? I should have. It's like it didn't look the same. You know, that's almost a hundred dollars, so I was gonna notice that. You know, I didn't it's not like it was like ten dollars or you know, something like that. Like that's eighty dollars. What is this? Oh, I'm tripping. I was about to say, what is this behind me? Anyway, y'all, so I prayed about it. I'm leaving in God's hands. I pray I get my money back because that's eighty bucks. I can definitely use eighty dollars. But I, of course I want to officially end the vlog. Like I be looking so tatted sometimes. I'm just like Jalen, what are you doing with all these tattoos? Today is Saturday. It's a beautiful day outside, so I want to make the most of it. And um, I'm not going anywhere just because here in Virginia, it's getting a little cuckoo crazy out here just because of people and they're voting and people just feel the need to act crazy. Like there was a message and just, and I don't know if this is true, but true or not, just be mindful wherever you're at. I'm going to relay the message to you guys. I'm going to just read it to you because... I just think that'll be better. It just says the KKK members and white supremacy groups are intentionally bumping black cars or into black people's cars to start an argument on the street. This has already occurred in Danville, Virginia, Charlotte, Virginia, and other small areas of Virginia. If you don't have to be out at night, stay home. When you are out, be mindful of your surroundings. Let's help each other stay safe. Again, I don't know if that is true. But that is the name, the places I just named is like near in my neck of the woods. So it's like, it's not where I live now, but it's, it's definitely where, you know, family's there and stuff like that. So, so I'm saying all this to say, just be careful. So regardless of where you're at, just be mindful of your surroundings. Be careful. People are really going crazy. I've never understood why, you know, like if you're going to vote for someone, then vote for them and just go on about your day. Like, why do you have to do the extracurricular most? I don't understand that, but whatever. I'm getting ready to do my hair. I really want to do some twists. Like this whole hair journey so far, I've only been doing wash and go just because I have been trying to have less tension on my hair this go round. Um, because my first hair journey, I was do like the first time I have I ever had like a little bit of length. I was like two strand twisting it. I was just playing around. But like this time has only been just kind of like braids here and there, wash and goes, not a lot of not a lot of tension. I just recently started trying to pull my hair back in a ponytail and I'm not even doing that a lot because I don't want that to like break off my hair. I had a lot of breakage in the front of my hair um the first go around. But one more thing and I'm gonna leave you. I'm getting actually getting ready to work on the um one year hair journey of my second big chop so we can kind of like get into detail about my hair and I'll be able to share that with you guys. So yeah anyway I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you have made it to the end of the video you are amazing and I love you so much and I appreciate you. Um, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification, that way you don't miss any uploads. Comment something sweet down below, encourage the next person below or above you. And oh yeah, I have my little screen at the end, so if you want to watch another video, if you don't want to leave me just yet, if you want to watch another video, um, just wait to the end of the screen and choose your next video. So I will see you guys in the next one, Lord willing. Bye guys. <laughs>